Anyway, we're going to open up first bale. The, the purple stuff has like a different type of stickiness and it's, it's, it's different textured. Hello and welcome to Hey Team TV. As you can see, Adam is here loading, ready for tomorrow. Again, more loads going out. It's that sort of thing. Today's video is going to be about purple wrap. You introducing the video about me? No. You are, aren't you? I am. It's the Hey Team, not not I Hey. I Hey, yeah, but it's me. Yeah, but no one likes you. <laughs> That's me. That is very, very, very true. Probably I'm true. Glad, I'm glad we sorted that out. Leave a comment below if you don't like Justin. <laughs> Ninety percent of viewers. Anyway, hundred. His royal shortness is now here, Mr. Favorite over there. You happy with that? Well, I can't imagine they all love me. Spielberg was not on the phone. He might have been. <laughs> anyway, in a minute, Ads and I are going to get some purple bales in here and we're going to go through them and open up like in front of everyone live and see what we think of the well, performance of live, the purple wrap. It's not live. Well, unedited then. Better. You're lying to your viewers. We could go live. You're lying. I just do see. It was better on. It's better the other day when we talked about getting rid of him. Still here though, aren't I? Because now he's like this. Still here though. The worst case scenario, the amount of times we have asked him to leave, he just won't go. Nope, it's gonna be boomerang. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from yeah, but a boomerang leaves and comes back again. Depends how you chuck it, mate. You just won't go. I'll just keep coming back. <laughs> You love me that much? No. Why do you come back then? Huh? Why do you come back then? Reg likes you. No, he doesn't. He does. Reg just Didn't definitely Reg? doesn't like me. See? Anyway, I'm going to get some bales in the shed. I'm just going to finish loading up and we will take a look at these purple bales. Not going to be the most exciting video in the world, but it's a video nonetheless. Christmas is coming up and I'm sure loads of you are bored. Also, if you haven't yet done so, please hit that subscribe. Leave a comment below. You don't have to, but you can. No, leave a comment below. Give a thumbs up. That would help us out massively. And, well, let's get on with it. that were five high on the stack that last one was brought down mostly because he wasn't 100% pitched on top of the bales to make it safer we I sort of rolled it down on the front of the bales and so it's at a safe height so there's, there's too much wind and someone's walking around there and no one's going to get injured now the stage is set the star is there and the director which I guess is me is on the camera so got another name for you I didn't direct there. <laughs> Alright Ewok, you calm yourself down over there. 
It's original. <laughs> it's original in Star Wars, mate. Yeah, come up with better banter. <laughs> well, did you star in the film Willow? No. You sure? Positive. It wasn't him in Willow, guys. Sorry about that. Um, the stage is set. Here's all the purple veils. As everyone knows, we did this for the Whale Child Charity, didn't we, Ed? Yes, we did. And now it's a big unveil. Yep. So we wrapped a whole bunch of bales on behalf of the Whale Child Charity, which the wrap was given to us by Cars Billington, which is the only place you can get this product from, which is Zeus Epicrop Purple Wrap. So if you haven't heard about Whale Child and you wonder what they do, Adam is now going to let you know. So Whale Child is a children's charity for young children and teenagers. So basically it gives them better support outside of the hospital. So we can you know, raise them as much money as they possibly can to support them so they don't spend their time in a hospital and they actually have their time at home or out. Anyway, we're gonna open our first bail. Adam and I got our trusty orange hay team knives. Remember, kids, don't carry knives. Yeah, especially like I am. Ready? Yeah. We're going to open the first bale. Always make sure your knife's sharp as well. Nothing more dangerous than a blunt knife. Nope. I don't know what he was doing. I blame the rapper man. What are you blaming the rapper man for? Tails and the rap. Tails and the rap? Why well, getting out every well, every single bale saying, to tuck them in? Just saying. Who do you think you are? God, cheek of the kid. Right. First bale. First impressions. First impressions. So, we do make a very dry haylage. And I don't know if you can notice. Uh, it's not a true interpretation of the colour of the bale because we are under unnatural light so it will be slightly distorted um, compared to what it would be like in daylight does it make that much difference? it actually does anyway, smell a product very good what do you think? very nice if I do say so myself, it's very very nice as you guys can see here, this circle bit is a slightly damper part of the bale. Probably something that's come under a tree or out of shade, and it just ends up getting part of the bale. But this was second cut, wasn't it? So yeah. It was against us a little bit. There's an ever so slight yeast buildup in a few places. Uh, if you don't know what yeast buildup is, it is it almost looks foamy. I don't know if I can find a bit that you guys will be able to see. So if you are looking here uh, which I'm not sure if you can see it looks the only way I can really explain it is like cobwebs so it's very very fine um, and you can literally just do that and it just goes but it's basically a yeast build up um, so it's not, nothing to worry about but as for mould currently I can't see any, which is the most important thing for us. Add, spot anything? Nothing. Well, first bale, well, how many bales got here? Ten? Ten. So ten bales, well, first bale, fine. First bale, fine. Now, the reason we got ten bales is so we could give an average. So, obviously, <laughs> <laughs> obviously if one bale is bad, there's a 10% chance you can have a bad bale by using purple wrap. Yeah. Uh, and that's just kind of what we've tried to do. Um, anyway, so what we're going to do now is we're going to set the camera up uh, somewhere, and Adam and I are going to shoot around and open all these bales up. Oh, and Christmas Day, Justin. You don't like Christmas? I don't. Did I say I like Christmas? I just said like Christmas Day. He's having a Grinch hat very, very soon, aren't you? Yeah, I don't like Christmas. Have anyone seen the film Bad Santa? Should have been him. Should have been him. What the midget in it? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about the midget. <laughs> oh, brilliant! All right, jokes on himself on camera. Absolutely fantastic. Anyway, set you up. Let's get these bales open. Yeah. 
Okay. What, why do you have to do that? You're showing off again. What? Showing off. Waving on camera. Can't win, can I? You say I'm grumpy, I'm trying to be positive, waving to the viewers. You forgot to say hi mum, hi dad. No. no? Not doing it. Not doing it, mate. Hi mum, hi dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why? Why do I have to put up with this? Now, we've opened all ten. Voila. They're all opened. Okay? Now we're sort of going to go around them. So, on number one, which was this bell here, Obviously, there's the damp bit in the middle, which is our fault because it's come from shade, some part of that. These, we apologise on behalf of these two. You think Adam's difficult to work with, the Terriers are far, far worse. Anyway, as you can see, there is nothing going on with this one. No, nothing at all. Nothing at all. This one's pretty good too. We haven't spotted anything. There's a little bit of a yeast build up in the middle. Here in the middle. Right? Usually on the drier that you make stuff, uh, we find we have yeast build ups a lot more than on the wetter stuff. I know on size clamps you can get it a lot. But I mean on us wrapping bales, we don't tend to get so much on slightly wetter stuff as we do on the dry, or not quite so noticeable. You more more mould on the wetter stuff than it adds. Yeah. Anyone know anyone wants a terrier? More than welcome. Mind you, someone wants to buy yours, don't they? Yeah, they do want to buy Reg. But I'm afraid that I don't like Reg. But No one else can have him to like him? No, because they'll just end up bringing him back. <laughs> but no, I couldn't part with him, really. No? Just, yeah, I'm, yeah just, everyone knows, I'm only joking. <laughs> I do love him, really. If you wonder why the camera wobbled, this one just ran into the camera. Uh, anyway... No one wants to see you. Go away. Anyway, back to the more important thing. God. Uh, this bale is pretty much all good. There's a little bit of a yeast build up, little, as I said a minute ago. A little there. bit on the side. There's a bit well, on the side. Nothing. Nothing tragic. No. Uh, we'll go this way. This bale, all good. Uh, bale number six that we've looked at now this one is pretty much the same it's a little bit of um yeast again on the corners of this one don't know why to be fair the consistency so far is actually really good it's not bad one hiccup bale now there's no mold but we've had we've had a leak yeah. so it's not the end of the world no um we won't put this through our factory line. This will go down to cows. Um, not so much on the fault of the wrap or anything. It's just we just don't put anything out that isn't right. Um, <coughs> it's always like a bit sceptical, isn't it? Like using new wrap, to be honest, as well, isn't it? Yeah. You know, especially the purple colour as well, because we really didn't know that was going to go, would we? Nope. We used, we used to using black. We're used to using Volac. Um, it has been pretty useful learning about Zeus Heifer crop. We are thinking about trying some black, um, mostly because we've got a bit more of a confidence in black. Um, we also got to meet the lovely CEO of Zeus Heifer crop, which is Brian. Hi, Brian. Hi, Brian. Lovely bloke. Lovely chap. <coughs> had a good day with him, didn't we? We had we had a great great bit of chat and a great yeah. bit of banter with him. And he, he did explain to us that... He went through the whole process. It was really, really interesting. Really interesting, wasn't it? Yeah. That none of the other colours will really replace black. Uh, the see-through colour is not bad, is it? No. But we've heard so many mixed results on the see-through plastic. Um, the science behind it is phenomenal. Yeah. We learned a lot about wrap that day, didn't we? Yeah. Massively. But back on the see-through... Yeah. We we've, we've seen so many mixed results on the see through. There's been more negatives than positive on see through, isn't there? Yeah. To be honest. Yeah. But this so far is the only bale that is got. It's not really a problem. It's just wet patches. It just doesn't work with what we're doing. So it's going to be no problem. The cows have got an exceptional bale to eat. Um. Uh. But so far no mold, which is the main thing. 
Now, if we come over here on the last three, again, bit of a yeast build up on top here. Apologies that you can't like proper see what we're seeing. It, it's just the it's just the lighting. I can't I can't can't tame the lighting down or anything. It's just one type of lighting. Um, but that one's good. And then the last two, same, all same consistency, really. Pretty much the same. I don't know if anyone's noticed that this bale here is looking slightly greener than anything else. This one's really dry. I, this one is nearly hay. Like, really nearly hay. But the rest of them are still haydages. Just really dry. Well, to be honest... I'll be totally honest now. I am quite surprised. Aren't you? Yeah. To be honest? Yep. I, I am. I, you know... It is the same, like I said, the same consistency throughout. But like we just said, very skeptical of trying a new product. But and um, with the colour as well. But I must admit. One second. No, we don't condone dog fighting. But these two just won't stop. Enough. Good. Right. Sorted. Yeah. So, where was I? I don't know. I just. Not I. It was dogs, dogs flash between. Dogs again. Dogs flash before my eyes. Yeah. Red, go. We we apolo we apo we we apologise for this video and how long it's taking. Yeah. Uh, but at least you got to see the dogs just annoying the hell out of us. No, but I'm really impressed with the wrap. I have got to say it. I am really yeah. impressed with it. It is it is a very good wrap. One second. We just cut off two bits. Uh from the a wrapper man perspective, I noticed all summer that. The, the purple stuff has like a different type of stickiness and it's, it's it's different textured. It almost feels slightly more rubbery than it does plasticky. The black, as you can notice, is always seems to be shinier. That ends up being quite yeah. like a, a matte color. It is one of the coolest things I've ever seen when you, you cut this purple color yeah. open and open up a bale and you see the contrast of colors of the bale and the purple. That's, that's really cool. Love it. Um, but the black does seem it just seems more durable doesn't it and more even though it's the same amount as wraps that they put on both bales yeah it just the black just seems more but here's here's the cross section and if ads holds up the cross section and the purple even though he's put it apart I'm sorry <laughs> but if you can notice here oh where's my camera uh the glue doesn't hold quite the same. No, like really if you hold like the black up like that. I mean, these layers come off easy. Like I mean, that, that is literally every layer is stuck together. I mean, I mean look at this. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but they just fall apart. Yeah. Like, uh, given an honest review, if if we were to say like anyone's thinking about going out and get some purple wrap and help Well Child Charity, phenomenal. Do it. Yeah, brilliant. Uh, would we condone doing 100% of all your bales in purple? A bit hard on, a, on us, I wouldn't do 100%, no. maybe 50%. And like, you know, you go through that purple section first, but 100%, we we just wouldn't put all our eggs in one basket, if that makes sense. Uh, you could say, yeah, but you wrap all your bales in a different product and it's black. Yes, we do. We have used other wraps through the years it's just the one that we've had best results with you know like Bri even brian said from the ceo from zeus um black is black you know black is the easiest to make yeah and it you know the glue sticks the black the glue the adhesive all sticks together you know that's what the sun does doesn't it it sticks yeah. it all together and that's why you've got these layers same layers as that but they're all stuck together yeah but the color's phenomenal yeah i do like the color the color is phenomenal uh it's been awesome having it in the yard. All our customers are coming to pick up bales. Have makes actually people, loved it. Makes people smile with yeah. the faces. They love the faces. It, it's been it's been good fun doing it. It's been really good fun. Uh, will we be supporting it and doing it next year? Yes. Again, not all our stacks, but we're going to do some. That's that's our verdict on, on it that. It is. It also doesn't help that we bought two years worth of and plastic is, in, no. in one go yeah. as well. And so. it is an amazing, and it is for an amazing cause. The charity is amazing what yeah. they actually do uh, a big big 
big believer in that charity. You know, we don't do much for charity, do we? No. But that was a charity we could not say no to. And I'm glad that we were asked and we did get involved with it. Yeah. But it's, yeah, it's been really good fun. But if any of you want Zeus, Epicrop, Purple, Black... Just go on to Carl's Billington. Yeah, go to Carl's Billington. Carl's Billington have got their full line there. Yeah. They've also got their gold net wrap, which we also got to use as well, yep. which we haven't yet opened any bales with that on yep. yet. But we will get there and address that and show that too. So it's been very much a thank you from us to Carl's Billington for yeah. letting us try the purple wrap. A thank you very much to Zeus Epicrop for also helping and sending some gold net wrap and stuff. Thank you very, very, very much for Brian, the CEO of Zeus Epicrop, coming to see us with your busy schedule. I'm sure you're way too busy to actually come see us, but you did. So thank you very yeah, much. That was absolutely amazing. Yeah, that's the end of this video, really. It was just a little look at this. So you guys planning for next year on what to buy, yeah, give it a go. 100% give it a go. We've had, out of 10 bales, one with a bit of moisture problem. Yeah, no mould though. No mould and just a little bit of yeast build up yeah. in places. So, you know. But you get that with any wrap anyway. Yeah. That's not, you know. And before anyone else freaks out, yeast is like full of probiotics and is actually good for... Bread making. Oh, God. It's good for digestion. Oh, I've been waiting all, video, been waiting all video, video, video to say that. Really? Yeah. Oh. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you haven't yet done so, please hit that subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. We Leave would really a appreciate below. that. Leave a comment below on what you think of this video and what you think of Azusa Crop, especially if you use it already. Uh, Hopefully you, can you all... may have learned something. I, I doubt it. Learn anything from us. Yeah, that's true. But I am, you know, I am the brains, as they say. And you are the... <sighs> broad <laughs> I'll take that yeah something anyway if you want to find more of us you can also find us on Snapchat Twitter Facebook and Instagram we also have merch on eBay which there are a few new things coming very soon but on the merch drop that we've just done thank you all Massive. very 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 much for purchasing Amazing there's response been a, from you guys. Yeah, there's been a whole yeah. bunch of you buy stuff. People are loving the orange beanie and a whole bunch of the orange baseball caps have gone too. So thank you all guys very, very, very much. Until next time, see you in the next one. Cheers.